EU bureaucrats appeared to confirm The Rock would not enjoy the same protection as the rest of the UK with the transition period once the Britain formally let the bloc. On March 29, 2019, this would mean Gibraltar would drop out of both the single market and the customs union immediately. Brussels said an arrangement over the future of The Rock needs to be struck between Spain and the UK if the transition period is to be extended to Gibraltar. European Union guidelines in April said, when the UK leaves the Union, a no agreement between the EU and the UK may apply to the territory of Gibraltar without the agreement between the Kingdom of Spain and the United Kingdom. Get EPA EU officials could block Gibraltar being part of any transition. Perio this position was confirmed to express.co.uk by a spokesman for the EU who said, the EU position is exactly that. There is nothing else until the next phase of negotiations, but government officials have appeared to reject that stance, saying any transition deal applies to the whole British family, with Gibraltar included in the two-year cushion period, authorities in Gibraltar said, Gibraltar stands ready to engage in productive technical talks with all relevant parties, in a spirit of cooperation, as we continue to prepare. To leave the European Union, Gibraltar's Chief Minister Fabian Picardo said yesterday the agreement between London and Brussels on Brexit was good news for the ROC but added a note of caution by saying, there are still many possible obstacles in the future. Friday, December 8, 2017 Here is the 15-page Brexit deal and we are open to all possible eventualities and opportunities that this scenario generates. The news comes as British citizens living in EU countries accused Prime Minister Theresa May of having sold 4.5 million people down the river, despite the row over citizens' rights being one of the key sticking points holding up Brexit talks, which saw Britain forced to make concessions allowing relatives of EU migrants come to the UK, campaigners feel they will still be ignored. British in Europe, a coalition of groups representing the 1.2 million Britons abroad whose lives will be affected by Brexit claimed. The deal Ms May had secured was even worse than expected for their rights. Getty Gibraltar may be thrown out of the customs union and single market after Brexit campaigners are worried. That citizens' rights, one of the three main separation issues, will be buried under discussion of trade deals. Jane Golding, chair of British in Europe said, after 18 months of wrangling the UK and EU have sold 4.5 million people down the river in a grubby bargain that will have a severe impact on ordinary people's ability to live their lives as we do now. This is a double disaster for British people living in Europe. At the moment, not only is it unclear whether we keep our automatic Residency rights, but it looks like we can also kiss goodbye to continuing free movement beyond any agreed transition period, which so many of us who work across Europe rely on to support our families. The UK wasted a precious opportunity to take the EU's comprehensive offer on citizens' rights back in June. Instead, they decided to link the status of EU nationals in the UK to immigration, which resulted in the subsequent horse trading and significantly worse status that we all may face now. If expats have said they have been sold down the river, looking ahead to phase two of the talks, if it takes 18 months to produce something this bad then imagine what's going to happen. Once citizens' rights get buried under all the trade arguments about airline slots and fish carcasses, we urge the European Parliament not to endorse this deal when they vote on it. Next week in Strasbourg, on citizens' rights, Britain and the EU have agreed a reciprocal deal that will apply to both sides. The PM has agreed that EU courts will recognise European Court of Justice judgments for eight years when deciding citizenship issues, and agreed that a range of relatives, in addition to spouses and children, will be able to move out and join their families if they are already living in the U.Express.co.uk is waiting to get a response from the Brexit Department.